Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Jacksepticeye video and it's another him reacting to a scary video, but it's for the Mandela Catalog Volume 333. Now, I am recording this immediately after watching Volume 3. And let me tell you, I'm still kind of reeling from that. Holy fuck, that was just creepy shit that I just watched. Uh... Especially the ending was terrifying. You know, everything that happens in this happens in Volume 3 is just terrifying. So I wonder how Sean reacts to it. Because we've seen him react to Volume 2. And also, he did Volume 1 as well. So, let's see. Let's see what happens here. So, let's get right into it. So, without further ado, uh, let's react to this video, shall we? So, um, I'm a little late to this because it came out a few weeks ago, but I'm finally here watching the Mandela Catalog Volume 3333333333. We've watched the other two in the past. If you haven't seen them, highly advise you go back and watch those first two. Um, it'll give you sort of a, a premise and a setup for what's going on here. I can't remember like the ins and outs of exactly everything that's going on in them and there's a lot to uncover and there's a lot of deep lore going on that might go over my head for this one but i absolutely love this style and what alex has put together in this series um and they keep getting longer too this one's like 26 minutes so yeah this deserves, and like, then volume four is 40. it's only at 480p though i don't know why i don't know why it's not hd but we'll be fine really um let's just get into it i i absolutely love this series so far Yeah, we're weird way to start this. It's okay. It's okay. What's wrong, honey? Everything's gonna be okay. There's no need to cry. <laughs> captions. You put the captions on. Hey, hey, what's up? Jude. You started crying again. Lynn. Same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't know how to help you anymore. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure it's not that? No. No, I, I keep telling you, it's not. I've had it employed for weeks now. I mean, I guess I can come over and help you figure it out. Okay, Jude Murray and Lynn Murray got divorced. Got it. August Tomorrow 92. Night, you promise you'll actually come over this time? This was He's August 92. Too, you know. I swear to God, Lynn, if this is just and an he... imaginary friend or something, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Whoa, cool. I think it Sounds may be like more than that. Guy. Sounds really cool. Love this guy. <laughs> What's that? We just had a baby? Uh, oh, let's shit. get divorced. Uh, also, better not be imagining things. Actually, I don't know much about these people. I shouldn't jump to conclusions immediately. Yeah. What do you mean? Do you realize how young he is? Probably don't. These look like dollhouses like this. Yeah, from this shot. It'd be so overpopulated there would be wars. All the nuclear explosions and everything. Yeah, this is fucking creepy. The close-up shot of the eye. And let the good lord worry about tomorrow. Again, very a lot of religious, you know, imagery so and creepy looking. A lot of religious stuff. Ah, the familiar sight of the TV. You'll always have parents. Casablanca, never seen it. Hundreds of telephone calls, as well as television programs. Because we had a TV thing happen in the second episode at the very end, and the dude's face showed up on it. What were you? Yeah. <laughs> three, three, three. Okay. There you go. 3 a.m. is like the, the witching hour, right? Like when Satan's supposed to come and demons are supposed to come. Okay, I I might be completely wrong on this. Isn't the thing that people always say that 666 is like the devil's number? Yes. But isn't it... Isn't it supposed to actually be 333? Or am I... Did somebody just tell me that and I believe them? I can't remember. Because maybe that's why it's called volume 333. I just associated that with like devilry. Well, I mean, Sergeant I Ruth. Like Ruth Weaver. Sergeant Ruth. That's the female. 
and then Lieutenant Davis, who's the guy at the end. And Lieutenant Thatcher... Thatcher Davis. Thatcher Davis. So these two are being celebrated for, like, being promoted. To... Lieutenant and Sergeant. Okay, got it. There's information going in here, and I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep, keep holding that in mind. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. That's a throwback to my childhood. Good evening, officer. Uh, one of our students, Mark Heathcliff, uh, he's been absent for the past couple days without any one. reason, no phone calls from parents, no doctor's excuse... And we don't have any apparent emergency contact on file for him. Mark Heathcliff was the guy in the first... Yes. Mandela catalogue, right? Volume 1? Mark yes. Mark Heathcliff, Caesar Torres. Victim 1, Victim 2. Are your eyes gone? I think it was he was the one... We were, like, in his house, and we were seeing stuff from his perspective or hearing it from his perspective. Yes. Um. So now, that's cool to actually get, like, a character back. coming back like this. Call back. So you're in you the, have the someone pay a visit to... Um... Uh, three. <laughs> Redacted information. I'm make sure everything's all right. It would be much it's a welfare check to do. Oh, and if someone could try to get the contact info for whoever answers the door, that would be much, much appreciated. appreciated. Don't. Uh, thank you. Have a nice night. There's altars in that house. Also, that really looks like words to me. I'm, I, <laughs> oh, no, I'm just seeing it. It looks like words. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I was like, see every single little detail in this yeah. series. <laughs> you gotta have the map pat game theory breakdown this, you know, frame by frame. I didn't even notice the red. Oh, the red stuff falling? I didn't even see the red, you know, clouds. I swore I saw a face in that. Am I just seeing what I want to see? Probably. Ah, uh, okay, so it's the police are coming. Is it department? Open up. So it's the two people we saw get promoted. Or just one or of them. one of them at least. Police, open the door! FBI, open up! <laughs> Heathcliff altercation evidence reel, okay. Four three two. Are we going to get body cam footage? I don't think they had that many Kinda. to... Well, somewhat. Oh. Yeah, that was from Volume 1. Jesus Christ. Are they dead? Yeah, he killed himself at the end of Volume 1. That was hard to make out. Oh, Mark Heathcliff, 17. Oh, Marky Mark, he's dead. I mean, we kind of knew that already, right? From volume one, yeah. Then he try and, like, fight off uh, an alternate? alternate. Yes. You fucking bastard! Bad oh, decision, bad Mark. Bad decision, Mark. Nobody came for me. That's the callback you'll see later in the end of this one. Hmm. Tape if you try to kill an alternate, bad decision. Please turn off the TV for the love of God. Yeah. The, the, I hate the sound of white noise. It drives me nuts. Yeah, that just was just... I was expecting a jump scare. Some people like it because it like distracts their ears and they can sleep to it, but for me it just drives me crazy. My girlfriend loves to the sleep Holy with Bill? white noises. With white Reinsur noise. Reassurances. My girlfriend loves the sleeping bucket. with that. God bless all. Yeah. My girlfriend yeah, loves, you know, house, sleeping with the uh, white noise. She always does that when she goes to bed. You do realize you just got promoted, right? You don't have to work on this bullshit case anymore. Listen, I, I got gotta leave. Okay. Okay. Got to have to me still. I think. Hopefully we hear the, what the alternate was saying, because I couldn't understand most of the yeah, shit yeah. that the guy was... I heard... <laughs> That's all I heard in, um, most of it. Yeah, this was fucking creepy. I, I, this was creepy, now, see, the way that they did this. I see faces like this now, I never trust them. Yeah, don't trust anyone. DTA, don't trust anybody. Don't trust alternates. Papers, please. Prince present on item 12, doorknob. Okay. Was that... Is Prince on me knob. Is that Sil Cesar Torres? 
And there's Mark Heathcliff. Uh, that's an alternate right there, yeah. Uh-huh. Wait, that's, that's Mark. <laughs> I didn't see the name of the other one. Damn it. Oh, there was no name. Okay, that's why I didn't see it. Mark. Yeah, Cassette Markiplier's face show, show up on there. Investigation. <laughs> oh, my God. And also found on the notebook collected for investigation. I knew he was going to make that joke eventually. Camcorder, uh-huh. It was even Makes funnier sense. when There's Mark reacted to Volume stuff. 1, and he's like, oh, okay. Camcorder. Okay, so this is a point of interest. Are we going to get to see some footage from it? Yes. Shadow under shadow the door. Shadow under the door. I want to see the shadow under the door. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Ugh. Come here, Mark. This is probably a few days prior it's to so his simple. suicide. Yeah. But so effective. Yep, very simple. That's what I like. Just very simple. Oh, I hate that. What's what I well what I like about it? Whenever I whenever I'm doing something horror wise and I say I hate that, it usually means I love it. But I like that your brain your brain's coming up in all of these different scenarios. And what I like about this series is that your brain is doing most of the work. It's like coming up in all these scenarios and what people look like and behind doors and all, yes. all Alex has to do is like point you kind of in the right direction. Yes. And I like that because it's it's knocking not like a human. Like most humans, don't we all kind of have the same knock? Like, yeah. There's something about like five knocks or something that's sort of universal. Or three knocks. Um, that's kind of like the average knock most people do. But whenever you hear like, it's like, that ain't right. That's not a human. Don't answer that door. The cassette player. Okay. Let what what are we hearing? The voices. Voices outside, voices my, outside room. my room. Is it going to be your mom? Is Wasn't that the Ward? one? You need to open the door. Now. No. <laughs> oh, God. I am not going away. Sounds totally normal. I hate that shit, too. But, you Sounds know, like they went away. Well, you know, you know, the stuttering. Oh. What time is it? It's just after eight. This like this is what I put here. I'm nervous for the time. Don't be nervous about the time. You have no time. I couldn't hear this. Like all I heard was just just eight ten. I couldn't hear shit with that. Love that. Very cool. I didn't hear. There's a whole cacophony of them out there now. Yeah, there's a conversation. It's a party. There's a party it's going on. It's like an on. alternate committee meeting. Does anyone have the last minutes from our altar? Alternate anonymous. Uh, and, uh, alter Alternate anonymous. Uh, God loves me unconditionally. Always remember that no matter the circumstance. God loves all of us simply because he has chosen to do so. He loves me when no one else loves me. I am You're at peace. At peace? Yes, at peace. Let's say at? Yes. Today's a day that I need God's love more than anything. I'm alone and need to feel the warmth of his love and reassurance. reassurance. Well, you gotta get your reassurance book in your Bible. That's probably what this Start is. Start reading some scripture. This is all coming from the reassurance book. My Lord, I am. Afraid, and I beg for your love and protection. Oh, afraid. Against... I thought it said strand. <laughs> I beg for your love and protection against evil. I couldn't read this because it was quick on this one. God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I have no chance. I have no the choice. The cops never came I have for no me. Choice anymore. Nobody came for me. Whoever's reading this, please stop it before it does this to anyone else. Who have I been praying to all this time? Something to? Praying all to this all this time. time. Who have, Who I, have been I been praying to all this time? Who I've been praying I, I, to all oh, this time. Praying to. Who have I yeah, been praying to all this time? It's literally the same saying over and over again. Who I've who I have who have I been praying to all this time? Oh my god. Oh god, that looks like a face! Like an eye, a nose, and a mouth. Oh my god. Yeah, this is where I was like, am I on a rocket ship? My eyes are wide, wide open. open. 
Me too. <laughs> and there's Caesar. Also report Caesar Torres. That was from the He was in the first one as well. Yep. He was he, the one. It was him and Mark Heathcliff in the first uh, Mandela catalogue, right? Yeah. Mark Heathcliff, Caesar Torres. Caesar Torres, 18 years old, may display inhuman features. Avoid interaction. Call 911. See, that's not what you want to hear. You want to hear, like, local boy missing. Huge reward. <laughs> you don't want to see... Oh, it's an alternate report. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> duh. That. It was just a missing persons. Take action, serve your community. Like, things are so slightly off everywhere. Mandela meerkats versus the Brighton bunnies. <laughs> Come on, Brighton. I live there. Oh. Probably a different Brighton, but I'll take it. Warning, area under 24 hour surveillance. The surveillance, the weather? Is that a fire, actually? No. Murray, Murray. altercation, evidence reel, case 334. Three, okay. I thought the previous alternate. Well, Viewing intended only for Mr. Davis. I thought the previous one was 333, but it wasn't. It was 432. This is very, uh. Right. Mr. Davis. I understand that you were hoping that I would be able to recover the contents of all of the tapes that you sent in, along with your request to know. Why is Dr. Disrespect in this? I able to recover maybe about two minutes from one of them. I'll be copying my recording of it onto this one right after this. I, I mean, I hope this helps you with the rest of your investigation. If you need any more help, you can call me back or just send me another letter, and I'll be waiting a response. Uh, this reminds me of Local 58. <laughs> Great. Excuse you! Great to see you. No thanks. The night of the, the, night sub of the, the subconscious. subconscious. Suspicious? I, I can't read. Subconscious. Hello. Hello. Oh. Can you hear me? Ah, yes! Yeah, I love the, uh, you know, one ear to another. Oh my god. Oh. Hello. Stand now, me. you may be thinking. What I'm thinking is. Who the fuck are you? What? What's happening? The fuck? Who is this voice speaking to me through my television set? No, oh, that too. Well, let me introduce, let me introduce myself. My name is Stanley. It is very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Stanley. Consider me a friend, because I might consider you one too. Uh, no. <laughs> I like having friends. This was all puppeted by uh, Alex. Actually, a lot. I don't have room for more. That's great. <laughs> Would you love to know a secret of mine? Uh, sure. I can make friends appear out of thin air. Oh, no. What was that? You want to know how? I, I didn't say anything. I didn't say shit. Well, I can tell you. But you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. Yeah, you're one of my friends. Great. Great. First, we must consider what makes up a good friend. What do they sound like? What do they smell like? What do they look like? They look like me. What color eyes do they have? Blue. They, they sound like an Irish person. Okay. <laughs> have a friend in mind? Yeah. Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Oh, great. Now I'm... just close your eyes and think really hard about your new friend. Okay, they are closed. Can you With keep one eye a open. Bigger secret? Yes. I think it worked. Well. Your new friend is somewhere in your house. No! Now it's up to you to go and find him. Don't! No! Stop! <laughs> like, what if I'm just sitting here and then I'll just. Jesus Christ! What are you doing? No, I was just. Are you an alternate? No, I'm not an alternate. I'm you trying to tell you about NordVPN. Oh my god. What is NordVPN? <laughs> I've told you all uh, many times already what oh NordVPN is. Oh my god. Is. And you still don't know I have to tell you again? Y yeah. That would be great, actually. Could you? NordVPN is just the best this private is, I network love this. that you they can use to here. browse the internet. Look, I told you before, yeah. sometimes there's content that you can't get here or in the place that you're from. So you can use a VPN to be able to go uh -huh. get it for yourself from other stores from uh -huh. all over the world. Yeah. I mean, we 
we all know about like the security aspect of I love you know no, doing stuff like security. this like what Sean's what? doing with the two clones you've been browsing the internet unsecured would you like I've done that with Jay or die a couple a times no you wouldn't you would bring protection if you're using NordVPN to browse the internet then you are safer because your IP address is different and people can't find you not only that but it's really easy to use I have it on this computer here. I also have it on my phone, and I have it on my laptop downstairs. You can use it on so many devices. I guess why he really, did it was really because ultimate. It's just a couple of clicks, and you're browsing safely on the internet where no bad people can get you. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I like that. Can I, I, can I get it? How do I get it? <sighs> this guy. You go to nordvpn.com slash jacksepticeye to be able to get it for yourself, okay? Use that link. It's in okay. the description. It's your video. Why do you not know this? Why do I have to come in and tell you? <laughs> I don't know. Videos are hard to make. I just sit here and go, ha 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 ha, wow. I don't know things. All right, we'll get back to your stupid video then, little baby boy. <laughs> yeah. And turn on NordVPN while you're watching videos on YouTube like that. There's alternates around. You never know when another version of you is going to show up and scare you. It's anti. You want to be safe. You don't want to be browsing the internet unsecurely, do you? Anyway, I'm going to go use NordVPN to download something for us to watch tonight because it's not available in the UK store, okay? Be good. He stinks. I don't like He's him. He's walking on his knees. He didn't knees. even leave. He just went into the corner of the room, and I was just standing there for the whole video. <laughs> Freak! He didn't even tell you that if you click link in the description or vpn.com slash jacksepticeye that there's a two year plan with an additional month and a huge discount. He just know everything. Yeah, there's also a 30 day money back guarantee. Didn't mention that, did ya? What a anyway, way to use the... Back to the video. What a way to use NordVPN. That's your Davis and Jude Murray. This is the guy from earlier, Jude Murray. 911, what's the emergency? <laughs> And I was thinking they can't, they can't respond to this. Particular. That's quite a Dutch angle you got going on there. <laughs> what are we looking at? I don't know. I mean, I know it's a door. Nothing of interest came out of the automated camera setup. Oh. We'll need to resort to an in home inspection with Weaver as soon as possible, Lieutenant Thatcher Davis. Ooh, you're gonna get got. You're gonna walk in there and you're both gonna find twins of yourselves. And then they're gonna be like. <laughs> and then bang bang! Sounds about right. Oh, 
TV's back to flickering again. Isn't it a thing that they like get into your house through TV. technology or through the TV? Yes. No, Eva, we don't because everyone else fucking left. Are they hanging? Ten fifty-six. Someone's fucking up the camera. Yeah, they're fucking around. Camera's down, Weaver. Oh, that got me. Oh no. She was just behind you. Yeah, you hear that? You know the footsteps. I heard some like wet baby Hello? feet running around that house. Hello? No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This was yourself. fucking terrifying. Identify yourself. That's cool. This is a police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Police investigation. I need you to identify me. Nope. Get out. Fuck it. Look. It's playing the 911 call. Oh my god. What do you want? I hate that. I hate that. That was giving me PTSD to Paranormal Activity when I went to see that. Fast moving footsteps. That yeah, you can, I like, hated see. that so much. Like you can't see anybody. Oh anything. my god, like, I hated that. That is one that. of my peak fears. Oh god. The amount of indie horror games I've played where that happens and it just it gets me every time. When they get like faster and louder as they get towards you. Oh god, I can't handle it. What are we looking at? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. Oh my god. Ruth, if you're still there, I'm gonna find help, okay? Just meet me at the station. I don't think Ruth's there. What I wanna know is, like, why are they so dangerous? Yeah. That's just clowns. I thought it was fire and smoke before. Like, I get them copying you and everything is super creepy and really scary. But if you're like a police officer with a gun, do they not die easily can you not take them down are they super strong or they or maybe this is stuff that we found out before and i just can't remember but i feel like when it's like mark heathcliff in his house and it's his mom making sounds and then you go and check and it's not actually her like that's much scarier but as a police officer can you just shoot the thing no we're back let me eat the question back up 1078 Requesting backup. 1018 requesting assistance from available Bythorn units. Bythorn. I keep thinking I see something. Bythorn. That was the Bythorn I think it's Paranormal just the Society. Of the, of, the, of the video. Yeah, what was where was this? Anybody? This is an unauthorized use of our terminal. Identify yourself. Lieutenant Patrick Davis, MCPD. Ten eighteen, requesting assistance from available Worksha units. Worksha. I wonder how accurate these police codes are. I'm sure somebody's looked into them, like the 1018, 1035, that kind of stuff. 1078. Whoa. Something was moving. What was that? Because we never really see the alternates. Like how they move. Okay, is this Thatcher again? Oh, 
such creepy music. Thatcher, I was just saying that we never get to see how like they move. Caesar Taurus, <laughs> Ruth Weaver. That's so weird. <laughs> Hell yeah! Shoot him some more. Not enough room for the two of us, Lieutenant. Ew, the mouth is so messed up. <laughs> God, what a freaky looking creature. Every day gets brighter. It was this was fucking In amazing. Of course, this. Still don't know whose eye this is. Ah! Oh, damn! I didn't even realize. God, that was a quick twenty-five minutes. That was cool. The voice acting was so much better this time. Um, really, really top-notch stuff. Because the... The first episode of the Mandela Catalog, or the first part of it, was was really, really good. Um, and then the second one was still good. It's still better yeah. than most, like, analog horror stuff was you like see on over... YouTube, but it was a bit below the first one for me. Like, I didn't like it as much as the first part. But then this one now has really upped the ante again and really uh, kind of sucked me back into it. Yeah, I'm glad that we got to see what one of the alternates looks like when you encounter them. Yeah, that's another thing. Instead of just hearing them through a door and through Yeah, that's what I like again. too. I forgot to mention that. I like the fact that you were able to see what an alternate does and what it kind of looks like. Oh. Oh, great. More imagery of religion. How are you, Jesus? What's going on? Are you well? Well, probably not because the cross is right next to you. Uh, there she is. So, she was in one of those. I'm assuming that's just the Virgin Mary again. Yeah, that's. She was like earlier. a big thing in the first part. Uh, yes. There was a, or actually, in a lot of the ancillary stuff that came with it, like the supplemental parts, not just catalogs volume one, two, three. There was, there's other there's stuff like on stuff Alex's in channel the, in between it that you can go to and see that has a lot of like biblical stuff like old moses cartoons there's a lot of like virgin mary stuff in it um a lot of theories around what it is like a demon an alien an angel uh like biblically accurate angel kind of stuff and it's all very fascinating um so yeah that was really good i i'm very impressed i'm always kind of blown away by how much you can do by showing so little yeah and i'm really glad we got to see what one of them looks like because you keep hearing how freaky they are and your mind kind of like goes through all these different things trying to figure out what they look like because they say they look human but slightly off and then to see them kind of like take that an extra step and like pull his jaw lower and then like pull his smile up and kind of keep it there really cool stuff yeah really well done i can't wait to see how much further this stuff goes especially when sort of more attention gets put on it when more uh, resources get put into it. Like, I'm sure Alex's budget for them is kind of like going up and up each time with the success of uh, the series. So it's cool to see him put that to use and uh, make some cool stuff out of it. So very impressed. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. That was the Mandela Catalog Volume 3. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Please share all of your theories, because it's been out for a while as well. I'm very curious what the main sort of theories are for people on the internet. 
about what's going on in this franchise. Um, franchise. Because I can't really piece it together as I'm watching it. I just like how cool the alternate stuff is and the the way it's shot and everything I think is really cool. So I, um, I would love to know what you guys' theories are and what everybody's kind of talking about. Also, don't forget to check out nordvpn.com slash guy down in the comments below or in the description below. Click it in there. Uh, it'll take you to get uh, NordVPN with a huge discount for a two-year plan plus one extra month. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Oh, fucking hell, man. It was even better the second time watching it. It was fucking freaky. And I love, you know, I, I liked what, you know, even Sean brought up. Like, the fact that, you know, you are able, we were finally able to see what, you know, these alternates look like and what they do. Like, you know, that kind of stuff. Because that's, that was the one one of the things I was always curious about, you know? But, yeah, I'm glad that they were able to, like, you know, tell you, you know, what they do and how they, you know, move and how, what they do exactly, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, that I just like that. I like all that. That was just really well done. Everything in, with it is was well done so well. Everybody involved, like the act, the voice acting was phenomenal. Enjoyed it. Really well done stuff. Like, I really enjoyed the hell out of it. But again, uh, very interesting stuff, you know? You know, seeing all this crazy shit going on. Because the thing is, like, you know, I'm assuming this whole Volume 3 is surrounds you know this is probably like the first time that this is i guess starting to occur in mandela in the mandela county so this is like you know new to them and they're like trying they don't understand and don't realize yet what they're doing and what how you know dangerous you know the you know these alternates are hence why you know whenever they have when they receive a 911 call about an alternate they have to not you know s respond right away but just assure them that they're on the way and then wait until they you don't hear a question you don't reply for your questions it's like that's a little fucked up to the point where they're going to that extent it's like maybe the events of what happened with mr vatcher davis is what leads to what the whole thing with the police why the police can't respond you know i don't know that's just my theory on that. So this volume 333 took place in 1992. Roughly around the time after the events of what happened in volume 1 with uh, Mr. Mark Heathcliff. I was surprised, like, he, I rem like, remember Sean was saying in the beginning, like, oh, uh, I don't think I were going to remember most of the stuff that happened in the previous two. But somehow he was able to remember the, you know, names of the, the two victim the first two victims in uh, volume one, Mark and Caesar. I was, I was kind of impressed. I'm like, oh, wow, he remembers that. But I'm also glad that I was able to actually, I didn't even think about putting on the captions. I didn't think about that. Maybe I'll keep that in mind when I go when I decide to watch Volume Four at some point. So that's probably what I'll do. You know, the next time when I decide to do uh, reactive part to Volume Four to this, he just put the guy put it. Alex put it out like two months ago. So, anyways, uh, but that was a very weird, you know, little um, thing that Sean did after the Stanley thing. With uh, like he decided to put a little ad read into the video with the uh, NordVPN, <laughs> and have an alternate Jack promote the alt, you know, the NordVPN. <laughs> I found that pretty amusing. Pretty hilarious. But that was freaky with the way that the alternate was like doing this, <laughs> and then just you know, freaking out. So I guess whoever 
I guess whenever because the 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 voice you know the alternate was saying things in multiple voices. He was saying it in the child voice, then it was saying it in the female voice, and then like a deeper voice. Like it was like these different voices you constantly heard. Oh, like, you want to meet my new friend? It was like so when whatever this alternate gets in contact with, they capture everything from it. But still, by far the creepiest part of this whole video was when, you know, Thatcher encounters the alternate for the first time and he's like, hello. And then you hear the alternate literally say exactly in the same with his with Davis's voice. Hello. That is creepy shit. And then the con, you know, the the loud running footsteps, you know, when you can't see what's running at you that it just gave me PTSD to Paranormal Activity, the marked ones when I went to see that movie in that scene in the basement with that same, you know, that same, you know, exact, you know, kind of scene with, you know, you hear the loud footsteps, you can't see anything, you kind of see a shadow, and then you see this thing lunge at the camera. <laughs> That's literally what it did. That's the sound it made, as far as I recall. I haven't seen the movie since because I was, I am that petrified. God almighty, that, that was, that movie was freaky as hell. Like, you know, well, that scene alone, but the marked one was like, eh, all right, but, it actually was like one of the first movie, you know, the first paranormal activity that really terrified me. That really terrified the shit out of me. I remember coming home and literally, you know, closing the door and just putting my back against the door, like trying to keep it closed. Like I was just like, and my mom looked at me like, you good? <laughs> so, oh man. Anyways, uh. That's really it on this reaction. So, when it comes to Mandela Catalog, we only have Volume 4 left. And we have also the reaction from Sean as well. So, uh... But I'm not going to do it tonight. <laughs> I'm going to do it another night. Because, especially after watching Volume 3, I was very freaked out with Volume 3. I was like, no, I do not like this. But honestly, if I had to choose, like, which, like, which one was scarier, which one's scarier, like, the whole concept and premise, the back rooms or the Mandela catalog, I think Mandela catalog's ten times worse. Like, granted, yes, in back in the back rooms, you no clip out of existence into these weird back rooms, and then you get killed by this walking bacteria. Whoop-de-doo. But with this, you can't, you don't know. <laughs> You don't know because literally these beings, these alternates can literally be you in a sense. They can literally be you. And they use your loved ones as a way to, you know, lure you. It's just like, oh, that's more terrifying. My God, that's that was a lot more terrifying. But anyways, I think overall, that's really it on this reaction. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments down below on, you know, Mandela Catalog. Also, please check out my reaction to Volume 3 and also Volume 2. So you can see what, you know, how I reacted to Volume 3 because I was re literally petrified. My, honestly, I felt like, I feel like I was petrified. Like, seriously, I was really scared. I was like... I felt uneasy. I felt at, I really, I felt really uneasy. And I like that, you know, subtle, you know, you, it just gives you all these scenarios like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? It's just like, it makes you just tense up, ready to, you know, get a jump scare to occur. But it seems like he does, like, I don't know, so, like, so far, Alex hasn't done any, like, jump scares for Mandela Catalog. As far as I've watched so far, so... I don't know, so maybe he's not, I guess, not a fan of the jump scare kind of ideas with it, so maybe that's a good thing, but maybe once in a while do one, just to do a subtle one, but just don't do it over all, all the time, you know what I mean? I think that kind of adds a little bit to it, like, you know, I don't know, but anyways, enough rambling, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like what you saw here, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make clothes and Markiplier, Jack Septicai, even myself. I also act as a cosplays on there, so go check it out. And be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. 
So until next time, JRDL96 signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.